Hey! This is the Rudy Daggermoth. You don't want to mess with this little fella. This is one of the stinging caterpillars of Florida that's common on top of a beehive, and we're just going to let it go on its way. See you later. Quick note to anybody uh, watching, this is not a warm and fuzzy video about bees. This is a video about bee behavior essentially when they are desperate. And this took place in the summer during a dearth and I have no idea where these bees came from. Pulled out my cell phone and started recording. This is what's known as a usurpation swarm or a swarm of bees that's taking over another hive and kicking out its queen. So here we go, take a look. This is a swarm of bees though. No idea. Okay, so we've got bees returning from foraging missions for pollen that actually belong in this colony. You'll see them when I get a little bit closer with the camera. Their pollen baskets are full. But you'll also notice that uh, there's another bee, another group of bees that are kind of pushing their way in to this colony. When I slow it down, you'll see it even better. Look for the brightly colored pollen baskets on the legs of the bees. These are the bees that actually belong in this hive. You'll see they just know where to go. They go right in. Then look again for the other bees that don't have pollen baskets and you'll find a group of bees that will kind of fly in, fly to the side, kind of fly back, fly forward, and then go right in. And those are the invading bees. They're part of another colony that's taking this one over. This behavior went on for I don't want to say 10 minutes, but I can't be too sure. It didn't seem like that long. But outside of the front of the hive, there was a pile of bees that kind of rolled and walked away. I took a stick and, and sure enough, you know, this is a ball of bees that's falling, the old queen. She was just way too far gone here for me to pull these bees apart. This is the process known as balling a queen where in the literature they say that the bees decouple their wing muscles and vibrate their muscles and basically raise the temperature and cook the queen. But if you look at these bees, uh, you know, they're flapping their wings. They're actually causing a lot of harm to the queen. They're stinging at the queen, they're biting at the queen. It's just a combination of all these things. But she had been having this, this fearsome treatment uh, inside of the hive all the way to the outside, and, uh, just too far gone. So. I let nature, um, you know, play out. Interestingly enough, for those of you who know about Apis serrana, it has an interesting um, defense mechanism it uses against uh, species of wasp. It actually lures the wasp into the colony by kind of like hanging back, and then they all kind of jump on the wasp, and then they do this. Here is the fallen queen with one of her attendants. The colony now under new uh, management, so to speak, a uh, new queen, was something of a concern for me. Uh, I was concerned about the behavior of the colony, but uh, they were very well behaved and they lasted, uh, well, lasted uh, a, a good long time in almost two seasons. So there you have it, uh, use for patience.